Okay, the first thing I do is get bait. I like to use bluegills, you know, fresh cut bluegill because you know it's their natural bait, and I seem to get bigger turtles with it. So, part one, get a bluegill. That's the spot right there. That's the spot. And there's bait number two. I'm gonna set four lines. I'm gonna use two bluegill and I got some walleye cheeks. I'm gonna try that, so. But man, the turtles love them little babies right there. All right, we're gonna set some lines now. Um, I'm gonna use number five on Gamakatsu hooks because I like the octopus Gamakatsu hooks. They've, they've always done me good and I'm gonna use them. <laughs> I'm using 150 pound braided line. That's braided nylon. It's not that twisted crap. This this won't come untangled. All right, got my got my bluegill on here. He's double hooked through one side and point up out through the other. Ready for bait. Ready ready for the turtles. I mean, just whip it out there. That's it. I will come back tomorrow and see what we got. Oh yeah, I might have to come back tonight for you, buddy. A little small. Where's your daddy? <laughs> There's a little better one. Oh yeah, buddy. Okay, we're at spot number two now. This line looks pretty straight. I don't know, it doesn't really look like anything's messed with it. Let's go ahead and check it out. No bait. Okay, here's line number four. Number three, yeah. Number four, I ain't got high hopes for either because it's still on top of the lily pads. We're gonna check it. Yeah. Another no bait. Well, they've outsmarted me today. Time to go get some steak meat and throw out. I'll be back. <laughs> Hello. Well, gonna check the lines this morning here. Uh, this was pretty straight and pulled out. I had to come back and rebate with steak because, well, all my bluegill was gone. All three lines were cleared off. There was nothing on them. So let's see what we got here. Well, something had it. It doesn't have it no more. Well, this is my fourth line I've got out here. Um, coming back to bear hooks, empty hooks. Caught catfish over at the other pond. I think I'm leaving them out too long. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, start checking them every eight hours. Still using steak. I'll be back tonight about midnight to check and see what happens. Maybe bring the frog gig, get a couple frogs. All right, let's put this one back out. All righty. See you tonight. I'm not sure what's going on here tonight. I mean, there's frogs out here. Yeah, big boy. Got the gig too, but... I'm out here for turtles, not frogs. They're not... <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> I've been uh, coming back to some bare hooks here trying to catch these turtles. and So I threw them in the afternoon and I decided I'm going to come back about midnight and get them. So this line here looks pretty good right now. It's straight out. So there's something on the end of it, I'm thinking. Let's go ahead and pull it in and see. I 
as you can see, it's straight out there. When I threw it out, I threw it out that way. So there's got to be something on it. I'm not sure what it is. It's pretty foggy out here tonight, too. Let's get a little closer. Makes it even more creepy. All right, let's, let's see if it's on there. Oh, yeah, it's straight out. Something's on that sucker. Oh, yeah, we got something in there. Not sure what it is. Oh, it's a snapper, baby. Ooh. <laughs> Went down the hole. Scared the crap out of me. Oh, yeah. Look at him. Something. Oh, look at that, baby. Oh, yeah. Look at woo -hoo -hoo. Look at the size of that sucker. He's not a happy guy either. He's not a happy guy. Oh, yeah. All right, get that sucker up here. Oh, he's a big one too. Oh yeah. <clears throat> he's a fighter. He's a fighter. Look at. He'll tire soon. What the hell is it on his neck? Hmm. All right, let's get him. Boy, he's a big one. He's a big one. I better be careful with him. If he gets a hold of me, I'm gonna be hurting. <laughs> wow, look at him go. Make sure I can see what we got going on here. Big one. Oh, oh. Ah. <laughs> All right. Now ah, we got him. Oh. oh, look at that sucker. Damn. Whoa, he's mad. <laughs> All right. Let's get him over to the truck. Oh. Well, here we are at the fourth line. And uh, there's, there's apparently a beaver over here. It's not too happy to see me. That ain't the first time though. <laughs> All right, the line doesn't look like there's anything on it, but I gotta check it anyway, I'm pulling them, so. All right, let's go. Beaver's unhappy to see me though. I must be harsh in his mellow. Alrighty. Well, that's how I do it. Wasn't real impressive this time, that's for sure. I only got one turtle. It took me two and a half days. And um, I had to keep coming out and baiting them, stealing my bait. I don't know what the heck was going on. It's got to be a little bullhead or something. All right. Well, there he is. He's been in the uh, cooler for four days now, cleaning out. He's, he's ready to be cut up, so. That's how I do it. It's not rocket science, it's just throw a couple trot lines out and go back and check them all the time. Okay, thanks for watching.